Hey guys, welcome back to Cerebrum PYQ 90 second series and today I'm going to discuss a very common case that's asked in exams routinely and it's going to be with regards to the pulmonary function testing. We have a chronic cigarette smoker presenting with shortness of breath and his PFT reports are shown. His initial FE1 is 0.9 liter which is definitely reduced and his initial FE1 by FE ratio is 0.4, 40%. Remember anyone with the FE1 by FE ratio of less than 70% you're going to suspect obstruction. So this patient is definitely having an obstructive lung disease, no doubt. And after receiving a bronchodilator reagent like salbutamol, his FE1 improved to a significant value of 1.9 liter, even though his FE1 by FE ratio remained the same, that is 40%, 0.4. What is the most likely diagnosis in this case? Remember the very definition of COPD is fixer obstruction. That is nothing but post bronchodilator FE1 by FE ratio of less than 0.7. And that is what is happening in this case. So without any doubt, you can make a diagnosis of COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. And what about the improvement in FE1? Remember improvement in FE1 by at least 12 percentage in relative terms and by at least 200 ml in absolute terms after receiving bronchodilation is suggestive of bronchodilator responsiveness. Even though this patient is having COPD, this patient is having a good bronchodilator responsiveness because his FE1 improved by 1 liter compared to the pre bronchodilator FE1 and in relative terms it's improved by more than 100 percentage. So the likely diagnosis in this case is COPD with a good bronchodilator responsiveness. Thank you.